thank you very much. Good morning. My name is Jackie Gillen, and I am president of Advocates for Highway and Auto Safety. I am also a founder and a board member of Citizens for Reliable and Safe Highways, also known as CRASH. And I want to thank you again for joining us this morning. More than a decade ago, CRASH and Parents Against Tired Truckers, also known as PAT, joined together to form the Truck Safety Coalition. Both groups have a strong commitment to offering support for survivors and victims of, of truck crashes. Additionally, truck crash survivors and victims provide a much needed voice and a very different voice in federal and state debates over truck safety policies. And that I cannot emphasize that enough. They provide a very different viewpoint and they provide a much needed voice in these debates in the halls of Congress and in the halls of state legislatures. Our mission is to prevent deaths and injuries on highways by advocating for sensible solutions to advance truck safety. This past weekend, more than 65 courageous volunteers traveled from their homes in 18 states uh, around the country to attend Sorrow to Strength, which is a biennial conference held by the Truck Safety Coalition. These are individuals who have been injured or have had family members or friends killed or seriously injured in a truck crash. They, excuse me, they are united, they are undeterred, and I will tell you, they are unafraid in delivering their message to Congress. And it is a very simple message. It is no longer acceptable to be a silent bystander or a special interest enabler when truck crash deaths and injuries are soaring unabated and we have proven cost-effective and sensible solutions to address this public health crisis, and they're being ignored, delayed, and defeated. This is, there is a critical urgency to our efforts because truck crashes, deaths, and injuries are dramatically increasing. From 2009 to 2015, there was a 45% increase in truck crashes, a 57% increase in truck crash injuries, and a 20% increase in truck crash deaths. Can you imagine any mode of transportation who had this abysmal safety record and Congress and others stood by and said, well, you know, good luck, we hope things work out for you? On average, 4,000 people die every year and another 100,000 are injured. In addition to the emotional toll, these truck crashes inflict a major, major economic toll on taxpayers. Truck crashes annually cost our society over $110 billion. These citizen activists from across the country are attending nearly 100 meetings with members of Congress and their staff and government officials at the U.S. Department of Transportation and the National Transportation Safety Board to promote adoption of essential safety priorities. There is an expectation in Washington, D.C. that Congress will take up an infrastructure funding bill in the coming months. As Congress considers investing in much needed improvements to our roads and bridges, we also need that same commitment and energy to investing in much needed improvements to truck safety policy. This legislation cannot become a vehicle for advancing the agenda of special trucking interests at the expense of advancing public safety. Our speakers today will discuss the impact of truck crashes as a public health and safety threat in every state, the need to mandate life-saving technologies for U.S. trucks, the standard equipment that are, have been required for decades in other countries, as well as our opposition to any proposal that trades public safety for private profit. The Truck Safety Coalition is also fortunate because we have many courageous and wonderful members of Congress who have opposed special trucking interest uh, provisions and have led efforts to improve truck safety. In recognition of their efforts, the Truck Safety Coalition is also giving an award to 35 members of Congress who have been our safety champions. Ten senators and seven representatives will receive the Truck Safety Coalition's Legacy Award for their continuing leadership in truck safety. And there will also be the Truck Safety Coalition Leadership Award given to six senators and 12 representatives who have been reliable and staunch allies on truck safety issues. Additionally, we want to recognize some federal, state, and local officials as well as leaders in the public health and law enforcement community for their contributions to safety. 
A full list of these recipients are on the website of the Truck Safety Coalition, which is www.trucksafety.org. We congratulate all of the recipients and want to express our thanks and enormous gratitude for their efforts and they're leading these tough, tough battles on behalf of truck safety for all of us, all of our families and drivers. Before today is over, 10 people will die in a truck crash and more than 300 people will be injured. Federal lawmakers and governor, government officials have the power to save these lives and prevent these crashes. We do not accept the current state of truck safety in this country and we do not accept indifference and inaction by our lawmakers.